Punan Ba or Punan is an ethnic group found in Sarawak, Malaysia and in Kalimantan, Indonesia. Unlike the semi-Normadic Penan, the Punan Ba people are distinct and unrelated to the Penan people. Their name stems from two rivers along the banks of which they have been living time immemorial. They do have other names, Mikwang Bungulan or Mikwang and Avian Buin. But those terms are only used ritually these days. The Punan or Punan Ba have never been nomadic. In the old days, they based their living on a mixed economy, Swidden agriculture with hill paddy as the main crop, supplemented by a range of tropical plants which include manioc, taro, sugar cane, tobacco, etc. Hunting, especially wild boar, fishing, and gathering of forest resources, are the other important factors in their economy. However, in the late 1980s, many Punan, notably the younger, more educated, gradually migrated to urban areas such as Bintulu, Cebu, Kuching and Kuala Lumpur in search of better living. However, they didn't abandon their longhouses altogether. Many would still return home, especially during major festivities such as Harvest Festival or Bungan Festival as it is known among Punan. Punan is a stratified society of Laha, aristocrats, Panyan, commoners, and Le Pen, slaves. This determines their historical traditions that have been preserved. Just like most of the history of European Middle Ages is linked to and mainly concerned the various ruling monarchs, so are the historical and mythical traditions of Punan closely connected to their ruling's aristocrats. <laughs> Relation to sub-ethnic Punans there is this common misunderstanding that all the so-called Punan on the island of Borneo are related and referring to the same tribe. In Sarawak, for example, there is the confusion between Punan and Penan. On the other hand, throughout the island of Borneo, the term Punan often indiscriminately used referring to the then unknown or yet to be classified tribes as such as Punan Busang, Penaing, Sajo Hovangan, Uhang Kareho, Mera, Aput, Tubu, Bukat, Ukit, Habangkot, Penyawang as Punan. This heritage from colonial times still remain until today. As a result, there are now more than 20 different tribes or ethnics with the name Punan that may be related or unrelated to one another in the island of Borneo. These tribes include Punan Auhang or Nyang of East Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Aput of East Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Basap of East Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Batu of East Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Batu 1 of Sarawak, Malaysia Dayak Bukat of Sarawak of Malaysia, East Kalimantan and West Kalimantan of Indonesia Punan Busang Punan Habangkot Punan Hovangan of Kapis Hulu Regency, West Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Bungan of West Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Kile, Kelai of East Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Lisam Punan Mera of East Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Merap of East Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Muring of Muring Raya, Central Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Nibong of Brunei and Sarawak, Malaysia Punan Panyawang Punan Sajo of East Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Tubu of East Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Uhang Kariho, Kariau of Kapis Hulu Regency, West Kalimantan, Indonesia Punan Ukit, Bukitan, Bekitan of Sarawak, Malaysia and East Kalimantan, Indonesia Ethnic classification Officially, as under the Sarawak Interpretation Ordinance, Punan is group under Kajang together with Sekapan, Kejaman, Lahanan and Sahan. And officially, they are also included in the politically coined term Orang Ulu, popularized by a political association known as Orang Ulu National Association or O-U-N-A. The association is a Kayan and Kenya-dominated association which they established in 1969. Topic. Punan longhouses Topic. Punan are mostly found around Bintulu, Sarawak. Punan peoples can only be found at Pandan, Jelalong and Kakus in Bintulu Division, along the Rajang River, their longhouses dotted areas spanning from Merit District to Lower Balaga Town. 
The Punan are believed to be one of the earliest peoples to have settled in the central part of Borneo, the Rajang River and Balui areas together with the Sekapan, Kejaman and Lahanan. However, the mass migrations of Kayans, subsequently followed by the warfaring Ibans into Rajang and Balui areas approximately some 200 years ago, forced the Punan communities living in these areas retreating to Kakus and subsequently to Kamina Basin. As of 2006, there were more than 10 Punan settlements longhouses found along the Rajang, Kakus, Kamina and Jelalong River. These settlements longhouses are Punan Lovik Sama Punan Lovik Ba Punan Lovik Bayao Punan Lovik Meluyu Punan Lovik Liring Balong named by Ruma Bailong before and now is known as Ruma Adu Punan Lovik Mina Punan Lovik Pandan also Ruma Nyipa Tinging and Punan Loa Buang Jelalong also known as Ruma Adi the total Punan population is estimated to be around 3000 5000 people Language Punan speak the Ba Bayao Punan language, one of the Rajang Sajau languages. Although often confused with Penan, Punan is closer to the language spoken by the Sekapans and Kejamans. Here's some words spoken in Punan 1. New Denj, how are you? 2. New Naro no, what is your name? 3. Piro Yuman no, how old are you? 4. To you piu komen si, do you have your lunch, diner, breakfast? Topic. Religion and beliefs Topic. Punan traditional religion was a form of animist known as Basavik. The Brook era saw the arrival of Christian missionaries, bringing education and modern medicine into Sarawak. But the Punan communities remain with their traditional religion of Basavik and subsequently adopting a cult religion, Bungan brought by Jok Apui, a Kenya from Kalimantan. However, the late 1990s showed an increase in the number of Punan converting to Christianity. This is partly due to more and more Punan becoming educated and modernized. As of 2006, almost half of Punan are now Christian, leaving only the elderly, less educated still remain observing Bungan religion. The Punan have a unique burial custom. In the early days they did not bury their aristocrats or lahar. Instead they built a pole known as Kelarang of 50 meter height to lay down their beloved leaders. In Sarawak it is estimated that there are fewer than 30 Kelarang left standing. The Punan still practice a secondary burial ceremony, whereby the dead body is kept at their longhouses for at least three to seven days. This is partly to give more time for far away relatives to pay their last respects to the deceased. Topic. Current associations Topic. There are two Punan association that are in existence today. Persatuan Kabangsan Punan, Punan National Association, Malaysia. Yayasan Adat Punan, Punan Culture Foundation, Indonesia. Topic. References Topic. Topic. Notes Topic. Note, there is still lack of literatures on Punan peoples. Available information about these peoples were often sourced from either passing notes written by Brooke and colonial administrators not in-depth scholarly research. The earliest? Literature on Punan is probably one written by Eduardo Beccari, an Italian botanist and traveler in 1876. In the late 1950s, Rodney Needham, Tom Harrison, de Martinoir wrote a brief notes on Punan people they either personally met or heard from their guides along the Rajang River. Because of the lack of information many have confused them for Penan and also the Punan of Kalimantan. In Sarawak for example the Punan was wrongly classified as Penan by the National Registration Department in the late 1990. They are also often confused for a politically coined term such as Kajang and Orang Ulu. As such the Punan through their association Punan National Association is willing to collaborate with both foreign and local scholars who interested in doing social, economic research among the communities. Topic. External links 
Topic Nicolaisen, Ida, 1976. Form and Function of Punan Ba Ethno Historical Tradition in Sarawak Museum Journal Vol. 24 No. 45 New Series. Kuching. Punan National Association. Lee, Michael, 2002. Mapping the People of Sarawak. Unimas. Samarahan. The official Punan community site. 